I'm reaching for what I believe in and I must never stop rising, 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 never rising, rising, rising. What's good family? Oh, what's cracking my ass on? Oh, this is such a comfortable couch, man. What's good? Hope everyone is good. I'm Unique Creation. Welcome back to Unique Sessions. Yeah, get me a couple of these. Anyways, yeah, I got something I want to talk to you about today. It was a question I asked myself. I don't even remember why I asked myself that question, but it was a question I asked myself, and I came up with, uh, 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 I guess, a few answers, to be honest with you. A few answers, but I really want to... Um, bring out the right answer to everybody today. It's very important that if you ever ask yourself this question, that you come up with the right answers. And I guess I just wanted to go through it today. If you have any questions about what I talk about, please leave it in a comment. If there's anything that you want me to elaborate on, please smack it in a comment as well. And I'll be happy to get back to you. And don't forget to press that subscribe button. Anyways, the theme today is, am I enough? Am I enough? Am I enough? That's the question today, am I enough? Um, when I asked myself this question, it was more, it was an umbrella question to many small questions. And I wrote it down to remind myself, because I, I wrote it down because I didn't want to forget. And one of the questions I was asking myself is, am I doing enough? You know when you're trying to get somewhere, you're trying to achieve something, you know, I have workhorse issues, I was working. But it's, yeah, I was asking myself, am I actually doing enough to get there? And I, another part of it was, am I making enough money in my life? Am I man enough to do certain things? Can you imagine? I'm questioning my manhood. My ma I'm a man! Anyways, plain and simple, I was actually questioning all sorts of things. And what is it about you that makes yourself doubt yourself? That's what I want to know. What is it about you that makes you doubt yourself? I, when you're asking, am I, am I enough? Do I make enough money? Do I have enough time? Am I doing this with the time I have? Am I doing enough with the time I have? What is it about you that's making you doubt yourself? Because I was asking myself these questions for different reasons. I was asking myself if I was making enough money because um, there was a lot of things I wanted to do and it required money. There was a lot of things I wanted to get done that required money. For example, you can't just go around living in a house or owning a house unless you have the money to fund it, whether it's a mortgage, whether it's rent, unless you have a, an amazing landlord who's one of a kind that's willing to let you live under their roof. And I'm not talking about mom and dad. I'm actually going to talk about going out there and having your own place and owning it. So I was asking myself, am I making enough money? Am I doing enough with the with the dream that I have, the vision, the business I want to build, the music? Am I touring enough? Am I performing enough? Am I writing enough? All these things were going on in my head and they were all making me, I was questioning myself because I wasn't where I wanted to be, which is why I'm asking you. When you ask yourself if you are enough, if you question your enoughness in a certain situation, why are you doing that? Why are you doing it? What's making you ask it? I really want you to look at that situation, look at that question objectively, and then answer that question again. I ask yourself that question again because it's important to look at the reality of where you are. I'm talking objectively, not just say, oh, oh, I'm broke, I don't have enough, I never know. I'm talking objectively, realistically, looking at where you are and then counting the cost and analyzing. Is it that you're really not enough? Or is it that you just need to put certain other things in place to get the work done or to get yourself to where you want to be? But there are some dangerous ones there, like, am I man enough? What does that even mean? Why am I asking myself that question? And it was down to maturity. I was struggling with certain things in terms of maturity-wise, where I had to make certain big decisions in my life, and I wasn't sure if I was, you know, stern enough to deal with it because these are big choices I was going to make really big ones um they're quite personal but I can even tell you like uh what country am I going to live in can you imagine I even thought about that one what question what country am I going to live in because uprooting means having to move everything I'm doing if I move to a different country I have to register my company in that country the company I have is a registered country with com um, company with company's house so we register in a new company. We start and again, I haven't thought about it. I was, there was a lot of big ones. I'm just sharing that one so you see the gravity of why I was asking myself, is it right for me to get up and just go? Is it the right choice? But I was questioning myself in a poisonous way, like my abilities. I was doubting myself. It's important to look at something and decide whether it's something that you can do by yourself or you may need help with, which is very different to just looking at yourself and saying, oh, I'm inadequate. 
in this circumstance. I can't do it. I don't have the ability to, which is what I was doing to myself. And the reason why I want to bring this up is a big difference with looking at things objectively, looking at the limits of your abilities, and just outright demotivating and deflating yourself from doing it. Because it, all, it can open doors to a lot of other things like low self-esteem, low self-worth, anxiety. These things actually come from doubting yourself. When you're anxious, it's because things are out of your control or you, and you, you're, you're analyzing it. It may even be out of fear of the unknown. You're looking at something you haven't done, you can't deal with it right now. Things are spiraling out of control, so you get anxious about another day before it even comes. So it's very important to really watch how you ask that question. Uh, also, it can stop us getting answers, getting the correct answers, especially if you're clouded with so much self-doubt, you can't even think forward anymore, you can't even think straight anymore. It's important to find, find the right mental state to analyze these situations. It's so important. If you're a person that's prone to doubt in yourself and you have low self-esteem or if somebody you don't think very highly of yourself or you don't see much of your own abilities, you don't think you can get very far, it's very important to really realistically analyze it because going into scriptures, Gideon was a guy that he honestly came from the lowest, weakest clan, the lowest of the lowest of the lowest, so to speak. And every time God said, called him a mighty man of valor, he didn't believe it. He honestly didn't believe it to the point where he even thought it was okay to test God. Can you imagine? The almighty God who is true, who he knows is true, he's still questioning out of his own self-doubt. When you ask yourself, are you enough? It's very important that you look at what you're asking yourself about and why you're asking that question. What is it in you that's making you ask those questions? Focus on it. Think about it. Analyze it. Be realistic with it. Look at it objectively. Count the costs. Am I enough to, 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 to own my own Mercedes Benz? I'm only saying that because it's an expensive car. If you're asking that question, why are you really asking that question? Do you feel like you can ever achieve the finances to do it? Or are you actually looking at how much you have and how much you need to buy and maintain it? There's a difference in that. When you see a, a, a somebody you like, a girl you like, for, for the guys again, I've spoken about this before, but I just wanted to add to it again. If you see a lady you like and you ask yourself, am I enough, am I man enough to be with this lady? Are you asking yourself, are you looking at yourself and thinking you're not good enough? Or are you looking at yourself objectively and thinking, what can I actually bring to the table in terms of uh, emotional uh, availability, protection, uh, providing, stuff like that, providing, you know, like the, the usual stuff, the basics of life, supporting her in hard times. Are you, are you looking at yourself objectively or are you just outright flattening yourself out and saying, I can't do it? That am I enough question. Please be objective and look at the cost of what you're asking yourself you're enough for. And then seeing whether it's something that you need to change in your life or is it that you're just out, outright disapproving yourself before you even try. Think about those two points. I'm Unique Creation. Thank you very much. See you at the next one. Hope this has helped. Later. I'm not letting all of my doubts trip me up I'm reaching for what I believe in And I must never stop rising, rising, rising Never